Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I was not able to film my math study vlog or my math exam vlog. That was because I had to prepare and I, to be honest, I forgot to film. So can't help it. But actually, my math was my last exam and I am officially done with my 10th grade for this school. And this actually feels sad because I was in this school since the second grade and then now leaving the school is you know a bit sad but then I'm even happy that I'll go somewhere else then new experiences and stuff so I'm even happy for that and quite excited so yeah I actually thought to make a separate video for your math study tips that was because you guys were asking for it a lot and I even thought as I'm done with my exam I would be able to give you guys better tips because I have my pre-board paper I just gave it so I know what mistakes I have made and what you shouldn't make so yeah let's start with the tips so first of all I'll tell you guys how my exam went it did not went good. I mean it was good, it wasn't that bad but I felt that it was a bit difficult. The paper was not even lengthy but there were a few questions which I actually had to solve around 3 to 4 times. You won't believe I literally had to, I, I have done the whole question but then I come to the end and I'm like no this is not the answer which I want. So I need to scrape everything off and then solve it once again. So my first tip you guys, I'll just give you guys an example what happened with me. So there was this one question where according, uh, related to trigonometry where we were given an angle and then we were given two boats I guess. No, it was like one boat, It how much time will it take to reach the bottom of the tar and I knew how to solve that question. I had even solved it and it was quite an easy question to be honest. But what happened that I was trying solving it but then I wasn't getting the answer. Once I was solving, I was literally getting X and X was getting cancelled and I'm getting no values there. So I got really panicked. I wasn't getting what to do. And it was, I guess, a four mark question or something. It was either three or four mark question. And I was panicking so bad. So I thought like, let's leave this question right here and then start solving the others because I had quite many questions left after it. So I tried solving the whole entire paper. And once I was done, I once again went to that question. And once I went there, I thought he I was not getting like I am trying to solve it but why my both x values are getting cancelled and getting the answer as 0 as that's not possible so I thought to solving it once again and when I actually solved it I got the answer that was surprising for me because I did the same exact thing but somehow I got the answer for it and I was so happy but I still thought that it wasn't correct because I felt that I wasn't using the right method to solve it or either I took the tan theta values wrong or something wrong so I thought solving it but then you know my mind it was saying that no it's wrong but I still thought to what's bad in writing in the paper rather than getting zero marks for a three mark question so I wrote I solved the whole um, question for that and then once I was done with my exam I went to my friends and asked that what answer did you guys get and guess what I got the right answer I cross checked with all of them and all of them actually got the same answer and that was so relieving for me and I was really really happy that you know I was so stressed out that the three mark I would do I could have lost my three marks but then as I you know just thought I'd like, leave everything and just just write what I know so I wrote and then somehow I just transposed everything and then I got that answer and I got that right so I was really happy so first step never leave a question blank, blank no matter how much you're panicking just leave that question there and then and then solve your entire paper and at last go to that question write whatever you know about it whatsoever and then you guys you might get a mark for it so better not to lose those three marks and then my second tip you guys there is this one question to find the relationship between the mean median mode and I always forget that even in my online exams we had this question that write the relationship between the what the central tendencies it is actually given at the very bottom of an NCRT textbook in that chapter of statistics it is something like 2 median is equal to 2 more. I did not do it. I literally read the whole NCRT and once again I left that part. And that even happened in my online exam. So you guys prepare that question that you know the relationship between the central tendencies. You can just go on the statistics chapter and it's there somewhere at the bottom that 2 median is equal to this mode minus that mode something like that. So I messed up in that and we had this one more question regarding statistics so statistics actually you guys you must uh, focus more on median because mean and mode they are quite easy they aren't that difficult but median is a bit you know confusing so focus more on your median question and then what else do i have to say yeah 
you guys for math my most important tip is learn things in detail you should go in the depth of each and everything you are solving it's not that you just need to look at the ncert question and then just solve it and you're done with your math syllabus it's not like that you should go in the depth of every question that how you arrive to this how you arrive to that and then basics you should clear your basics very well just like how to factorize stuff and then how do you find the square roots how do you find the cube roots how do you have those quadratic formulas like a plus b whole square you should remember all those quadratic formulas because that helps in almost every chapter you solve and then you should be thorough with your math tables that's you know basics everyone needs to do that and i know maximum people don't so you guys you should be thorough with your math tables so that was one of the major you know things which you should be doing and my major mistake which i made was about that statistics chapter my statistics chapter for my median i was so confused with median at the end moment i just jumbled up everything in my mind and we asked the teachers that whether we can you know make that trigonometry table and all those stuff in uh, in the reading time so she actually allowed us so you guys also if you have your pre boards or any exam you should ask your examiner whether you can make your trigonometry table some surface areas and volume formulas and your statistics formulas if you could write them in during your reading time you should ask and they'll surely allow you so that saves a lot of your time and you know in case you have a trigonometry question you can just simply you know refer to the table and for trigonometry table i have this tip to remember because many people tend to forget the table and you guys this tip is so easy so i guess i'll show you guys the tip um in written because i won't be able to explain it verbally so yeah i'll just quickly bring my paper and stuff and then show you guys that tip in written okay guys so i'll quickly tell you the best technique to remember the trigonometry table you can use this during your reading time and you can make this on your answer sheet so first the first thing is you need to write the thetas so here we have 0 30 then we have 45 60 and then 90 so these are all the theta values and then first the best way to draw a trigonometry table you just need to remember the values of sin so now here i'll write sin theta okay so now for zero over here this is a special technique it's not like my teacher didn't teach me this i got it from my tuition so so i thought to share it with you all as well so just need to write zero 1 2 3 and 4 and then divide all these values by 4 4 by 4 and after you're done with this you need to take all of these under roots so root 2 root and square root and now find the roots of this so 0 by 4 whole root it is 0 right and then 1 by 4 whole root so root of 4 is 2 so this will be 1 by 2 this is root 2 by 2 and then this is root 3 by 2 and here 4 by 4 1 1 whole root is 1 so now you might be wondering regarding this um root 2 by 2 so what root 2 by 2 is it is 2 by root 2 into root 2 so now we'll just cancel it out so it becomes 1 by root 2 So now you have the values of sine without even remembering it you just need to first write 0 1 2 3 4 and then you need to write you need to divide all of them by 4 and take the square roots so i'll just write it neatly so here we have 0 sin 0 is 0 then sin 30 is 1 by 2 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and then sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1 so this is for sin and then you need no other techniques to remember cos and tan so for cos it is just the reverse you need to write one here zero here root 3 by 2 1 by 2 and 1 by root 2 all right and then now we have tan so for tan here you just need to divide sin by cos so 0 by 1 is 0 1 by 2 divided by you'll just take this up and then you cancel out 2 so it is 1 by root 3 then this would be 1 this when you divide it's root 3 and a 0 by 1 it is 1 by 0 is not defined so anything by 0 it's not defined so you have this so that is the basic technique to remember all of this and then you have you know 
you have just a reciprocal which is cot secant cosec so you just need to write the reciprocals of tan cos and sin that was really easy trick which i used to remember my trigonometry table and you can do too so just comment down below in case you have been following this technique or if it was new to you and whether it helped you or not so just let me know that in the comment section so guys the next tip is have this chart near view i have my study table right here and i have this right here so this always comes into my eye contact and you know i just look at it once so that's pretty good to remember all the surface areas and volume formulas okay guys so these were all the tips and techniques for your math exam and please make sure to let me know in the comment section or on the community tab whether these tips helped you in your math exam so yeah i guess i'll end this video right here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe turn on those post notifications and comment down below or on my community tab whether you liked my video or not till then stay safe and keep watching